Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is a little bit of an astro alert. Saturn right now is squaring Pluto. That means a lot of fear and a lot of karma. And we've created a special series called Astro Extra, Saturn in Libra. Now, it's not free. We do charge for this, but it's over an hour video explaining where you are with Saturn, explaining what this is about, explaining the next full year, and explaining the tension you might be feeling right now. So if you're interested, come on down to soulground.tv, click on Soul Mart, and then Saturn Astro Extra. See you there. Hello, Soul Healers, and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. I'm starting to slow these down. I'll come out with all kinds of ones. Maybe I should come out with a country one. It's finally Friday. <laughs> anyway, sunny and self-reflective this weekend for the Virgos. The moon is in Taurus. So your emotional focus will be on what you believe in. Your heart and your belief structure are one through the weekend. So that emotionally charges your beliefs. So if you're very passionate about some sort of topic, the passion gets even more intense during this time. This is also a time where we tend to be intolerant of other people's beliefs, just so you know. So if you're very, very emotional about something and someone's intolerant to it, well, that could trigger an argument, that sort of thing. This is also a time where your moon, your emotions are learning and updating your belief structure. So you just lived a 30-day cycle since the last time the moon was in Taurus. And in that time, you've gone through a whole bunch of emotions. And so now you can upgrade. You know what? After the last 30 days, I no longer believe in Susie anymore. So you update your belief structure to match your emotions. So it's a spaced out time. It's a good time to take a little trip. It's a good time to put your nose in a book. It's a good time to learn about things you love. That's a real nice synergy of energy. Oh, I like that. Moon right in the sun. We are in chapter one now of sun in Pisces. Actually, we're not quite there. We are in between two states. We're zero degrees. I always say zero means zero. We're kind of in the no man's land between aqua and Pisces. So things on the earth may see and feel a little alien. By tomorrow, though, things will kind of click into gear. And now we shift focus to a very dramatic, quick growing month on long term relationships. Woohoo! Do you know how many emails I get from Virgos about long term relationships? I'm like, just wait, just wait. We'll talk about that. It's coming. Come on, we'll do it. Well, now it's time to focus on it. But I got some news you don't want to hear. It starts with how you relate to yourself. That's chapter one vibration of LTRs, long-term relationships, because you'll be married to yourself until you die. That is a marriage until death do you part from the body. So we're going to look at that. I always say we're actually polygamists. We marry ourselves and we marry another person. Um, and then we'll move into how you relate to other partnerships. By partnerships, it's not just marriage in the sense of Dum, dum, da, dum. It's also partnerships and business friendships, best friends forever. Anyone you're going to be partnered or have a relationship for a long time. LTRs. All right, Virgo, that's all I have for your weekend forecast. I'll be back on Monday to start those LTR processes. Until then, live, love, be. So God.